Bailey, tough conditions here on Tuesday at the Yellow Jacket Spring Invite, but you bounce back and shoot five strokes better than yesterday to claim the title. Uh, what was working for you on the course today? Um, you know, I felt really confident off the tee today. Um, I was hitting it pretty straight with a little draw, which is my natural swing. Yesterday, I had a little bit harder time controlling it. Um, so today, I just felt really confident off the tee, and that's usually... For me personally, in my game, when I'm hitting well off the tee, um, I can usually get things rolling pretty well. And my approach shots have been my strength this year, and so um, th they were solid. And today, the difference was I made a few more putts than I did yesterday, and so that made the difference for sure. And as a team, the Yellow Jackets win the title, um, sweeping through the, the top three spots there. Talk about uh, the all-around effort. You guys are obviously comfortable on this course, but you came through and delivered. Yeah. Um, you know, I was really happy with how we did as a team. This whole year, we've had a hard time with the weather conditions. And so just trying to get things r rolling when teams around us are playing year-round. And so really just, like, trying to keep positive attitudes. I know that sounds super cliche, but it's huge for golf. So um, we all love each other. And so it's fun just competing against each other and challenging and encouraging each other to do better. And I think we did well this tournament. Um and I'm really excited going into conference this next week. Yeah, that's right. One really big tournament left on the schedule, the GNAC Championships. You're a senior. You've been in this program four years. You know what that tournament is all about. How do you feel preparation-wise? How does this team feel heading into that? You know, Coeur d'Alene, it's always – it's my favorite tournament. It's my favorite course I play. And there's a lot of nerves that come with it, too, with it being conference. But we all have quite a bit of experience on the course, um, the top three of us do, and um, so we're excited um, just bringing the other ones along with us as well and just enjoying the conditions, enjoying the course. Like, it's one of the nicest courses around us, and so just the opportunity to play it is amazing, and I think if we just roll away with how we did with this tournament, we'll, we'll place decent at conference, and who knows? Like, it's just really exciting. We're all playing pretty well right now, and so we're just hoping that everything can fall together for conference. And lastly, just an exciting day for you, uh, just to golf, but also you got to get paired with your sister. This is the last round that you play at home in your college career, and you, you got to play it with uh, your sister who plays at Montana Tech. Just talk about what that was like having her with you. Well, it was, it's so crazy because the chances of that happening are very, very slim. And so it was so cool. And that was my goal today. It was like, whether, like, however I did, I was like, I just want to enjoy it because this is really rare. And like there was one the very first hole I put it in for Eagle and I swear she was celebrating before I even had the opportunity to see it went in and just like the whole round seeing her there and just encouraging me and making me laugh she's so funny and we just had such a good day together and it's something I'm going to remember forever for sure. Coach, successful tournament for the Yellow Jacket women. They claim the team title here at the Spring Invitational. Talk about uh, them finishing the, the tournament strongly here Tuesday to wrap up that win. Yeah, it was great just to have an event uh, right before we go to Coeur d'Alene uh, next week. And uh, the weather, the 
the second day. Today was just, it wasn't great. It was pretty cold and very windy, but at least it was dry. And, you know, yesterday we had sun, so they got the, the best of both worlds there. I um, was just really pleased with Lake Hills getting their course ready for us. And um, our players did a good job. We had uh, four players in the top five for the women and won the, the women's title. And I think uh, this is going to give us some momentum going into next week. And in a tournament like the the GNAC, you really rely on experience and your senior leaders. And what better way than to have Bailey Dexter win this tournament? This will be her fourth time going to Coeur d'Alene, leading you guys. Talk about the way she battled. I mean, she wasn't feeling great. She shot an 80 yesterday and came back with a 75 to win today. Yeah, Bailey's just a great competitor. She does it in a quiet way. She's just a very confident person. Uh, and I knew that she would come back. She eagled her first hole of the day uh, and got her started. It was a really special day for her because she got to play uh, a round uh, of college golf with her sister from Montana Tech in the same group. So that was really neat that they got to share that with her parents in the crowd. And uh, I look for Bailey to have a great tournament in Coeur d'Alene. She's just steady and she's uh, going to going to play well and also we count on her a lot for leadership. Uh, Sammy Walter had a nice solid tournament so our two seniors really stepped up. Uh, she took second place I believe four shots behind Bailey but uh, Sammy drove the ball very well and I think she's uh, just rounding into good form and I look for both of them to uh, lead us next week. And then uh, Shaylin Hafer, the other player with uh, conference tournament experience with you and then Sarah Schroffel the other junior. Sarah has played well, in bouts the last couple of weeks, 77s in back-to-back -back weeks, or back-to-back -back tournaments, that is, in single rounds, so she's starting to put it together a little bit. Yeah, Shaylin just is a consistent ball striker for us. Uh, I think she just needs to shore up her, her short game, uh, and then she's gonna be, she'll be solid there. I know she'll keep the ball in play, and uh, when she putts well, she, she scores extremely well, but I know her, she'll be able to be counted on. This is her third time uh, going through this tournament, and, and uh, today she she had a tough first nine holes, um, but then came back with a 45-35 a to score an 80 and get third place. Sarah had a nice tournament, especially yesterday with the 77, but uh, struggled a little today, but was, is solid again, and to uh, get a top five finish was good. She's been a great addition to our team, and um, I'm excited to see how she does in Coeur d'Alene. And we had, we had good performances from uh, Renee Heisler throughout the year, and uh, then Sydney Rod Rockford uh, from Three Forks had a really nice tournament shooting at 85, 86, or maybe it was 84, 86. But, uh, um, so one of those two will be going to Coeur d'Alene, just haven't decided that. But uh, overall, uh, and then Kylie played as well, but it was a, a good event for us, and, and uh, we're looking forward to next week.